Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Now, I do want to make this video kind of quick, but keep an eye on the channel because I do have one of these new boards on the way and I'll have a full review video up on the channel soon. I'll also make a couple other follow-up videos, but I did want to do kind of an announcement video because 2020 has been lacking in the new single board computer department. But today, Odroid just announced their Odroid C4 and you can actually buy this right now. It's $50. This is going to replace their Odroid C2. As it stands right now, everything's looking pretty great for the price but I'll have to get my hands on one and test it out. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. So what we have here is the all new Odroid C4. We have four USB 3.0 ports, full size real gigabit ethernet, full size HDMI port, our power input. Unfortunately it's not USB type C but it is using a barrel jack. And we also have a micro USB OTG, which not a lot of people are going to be really worried about, but it's there if you need to utilize it. And the board's going to be powered by the Amlogic S905X3 with 4 gigs of RAM. Now I have done videos on Android boxes powered by the same chip, and I personally really like it. And that's one thing I'm really looking forward to with the Odroid C4, is running Android on this board. We have micro SD card support and eMMC support, and this is really what I'm excited about. We can get much faster speeds out of this eMMC, so boot times and loading should be really quick on this unit if you're using eMMC over SD. Now there's a lot more information on this page, so definitely read through here, but I'm just going to go over some of their preliminary benchmarks. Now remember, these are in-house tests. I'll be doing the same test on my own just to see if they really stack up, but they've been really good about telling the truth in their benchmarks in the past. As you can see here, the Raspberry Pi 4 is going to be in blue, the Odroid C2 is going to be in red, we'll have the XU4 in yellow, the Odroid N2 in green, and the all-new Odroid C4 in orange. This is Unix Bench. And as you can see, we're not quite hitting XU4 speeds or the N2 speeds, but it's definitely drowning out the old C2 and the Raspberry Pi 4. But keep in mind, these are in-house tests. I'll be doing the same test on my own just to verify. As for Unix Bench, double precision, we're right on par with the Raspberry Pi 4, but the XU4 and the N2 still beat us out. Moving over to 7-Zip, again, about right on par with the Raspberry Pi 4 and MBW. We are much higher than the Raspberry Pi 4 here, we're also beating out the XU4, but the N2 still takes the cake. And remember, the N2 is about double the price of the new Odroid C4. As for GPU benchmarks, they're using GL Mark, and I expected this to be a little higher than the Raspberry Pi 4, given that the drivers aren't great with the Pi 4. We're still above it with the new Odroid C4, so we will be beating that out in OpenGL performance. But then again, the old XU4 is still edging us out in GPU performance, and the N2 takes the cake again, and I expected the N2 to beat everything in these benchmarks here. It is the most expensive board that they offer, and the most powerful. Moving down to memory bandwidth, now the new C4 has 4 gigabytes of LP DDR4 RAM running at 2133, but it's set up in a quad channel array, so we have 4 1 gigabyte modules on the board itself, making up 4 gigabytes. From the graph here, it looks like we have much higher speeds than the Raspberry Pi 4, and this could be attributed to this being run in quad channel mode instead of single channel mode like the Raspberry Pi 4. Now there's a lot more here, you can go ahead and read through this, I'm going to save this for my review video. But I did want to move over to their wiki page real quick, just to give you an idea of what's going to be available out of the box. So as for software, right out of the box, as soon as you get your board, we're going to be able to install Android 9. So we have an Android 9 build, and we have Ubuntu 20.04. So we have the Mate desktop and a minimal image. Now, I know a lot of people who are viewing my channel might be interested in running Android, and I can almost guarantee you that they will have an Android 10 image coming up for this in the next couple months. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have tested an Android box with the same chipset, and it actually does a really good job with Android Pie or Android 10. So that's going to be a big win for this board because a lot of people just want to run Android. It's very simple to use. It's the world's most popular operating system. And on these Amlogic CPUs, it actually works really well, be it stock Android or Android Android TV. And before I wrap this video up, I just wanted to go over the basic specs. For the CPU, we have the Amlogic S905X3. This is a quad-core Cortex A55 CPU running at 2 GHz. Hopefully, we can get a little overclock out of this. I have heard of these running up to 2.3. The GPU is the Mali G31 MP2 at 650 MHz, 4 GB of LP DDR4 RAM running at 2133 MHz. For storage, we can use a micro SD card or an eMMC module. Gigabit LAN, 40 GPIO pins, just like on the Raspberry Pi. 
four USB 3.0 ports, and an IR receiver built onto the board. Now there's a lot more to this board than these specs here, but this was just a basic overview. I'll be going over everything when I get the board and I can test it for myself. And right out of the box, we're gonna be able to install Android 9.0 or Ubuntu 20.04. And one that I'm sure is going to be making it to this board, if it already doesn't work like it sits, is EMU Elect, which is an awesome emulation front end, kind of like Botocero, RetroPie, or Recall Box. And as soon as the devs get a hold of one of these boards, I'm sure they're going to port it over. But it actually might work like it sits because it does support the Amlogic S905X3 in their latest builds. But there you have it, the new Odroid C4. It looks like an awesome little single board computer. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I'll have a bunch of videos coming up, so definitely keep an eye on the channel. If you're interested in learning more about this, I will leave links to the Odroid website, and I'm also going to leave links to Ameridroid because they do have them up for pre-order now. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I'd like to know what you think about the new Odroid C4, and if you're interested in picking one up, let me know in the comments below.